Okay, hello. Let's get cracking with part three. We've got Gauntlet 4, Spider-Man, Sonic 2, Superman, Sonic 3 and Game Ground. All on the Mega Drive. All not working well. That's on a Genesis, but you know what I mean. They're all not working. So, I'll pop them to one side. Grab Gauntlet. Grab the Mega Drive. Plug it in and there's nothing on the screen. I'm hoping some of these might be more interesting than either cleaning the contacts or putting in a 1k ohm resistor. But we're not going to know until we get them apart. So let's start with gauntlet form. And of course, the first thing I will do is check between ground and pin eight. Chuck it onto diode test. And ground and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. Oh, look, we've got life on pin eight. But not this one over here. All of these are dead. Do any of the other cartridges do that? Remember, this is the knackered one from the other day. No, see, they all... Everything has a similar sort of thing. But this one... on there. You're alive, you're alive, you're alive. Okay. Maybe not that then. Right, let's um, see where these head off to.
So they all seem fine, and this goes to here, this goes to here. Okay, um, well that all seems fine, but let's just, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's just do it anyway. Oh, the soldier line's been asleep for a bit. It's dozed off. It's having a nap. Right, get on there. Get on there. <clears throat> Let's try one anyway. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. It's not a problem. So that's on, now let's see if it does anything remotely exciting, like work. Huh, we've got some words. And yeah, even though it didn't show up as a drop across there, that appears to have been the problem. So, once again, let's metal fatigue these off. Chuck it back in its case and ditch the um, universal adapter. And no, we have no joy. Okay, maybe I've pulled it off whilst um, that's very strange because that was working. Definitely connected. Hmm. To life again.
nothing. Nothing at all. Right. Do you know what? I'm going to take that off. And I'm going to go over each and every one of the pins on here with an awful lot more solder. Or am I just going to re-blob that with a lot of solder? Let's re-blob it first. That is definitely, definitely 100% connected. Put it in the shell. Straight in the Mega Drive. Very bizarre. Let's just remove that for a second. And then plug the cart back in as it was. Okay, now it just comes up like that. I'm confused. Does it work every time? No. That literally looks like, I don't know, it looks like it's been fixed without really doing anything. Um, I'll come back and plug that back in at the end of the video because we haven't really done anything to it. What does Spider-Man do? Spider-Man does soddle. No, don't be daft. Spider-Man does whatever a spider can. It's in the song. No. Nothing there, so let's get Spider-Man apart. <clears throat> Don't get Spider-Man confused with Cider-Man. Cider-Man just does lots of drinking. First things first, of course, the magic diode test. All Mega Drive games are dead on arrival. Please put a 1 ohm resistor in place. Red. So you want one of them. Uh, which one was it? Is it a short one? Yeah. Okay. Magic of recycling that one I had a second ago. Excellent. 
Excellent. I don't know why. Mr. Mega Drive, where are you? And Universal Adapter. Cartridge in. Oh, still no power. Still no picture. Still no nothing. Oh, it's not worked. I have to do some actual work on this one. First test. Quickly rub them down. And try it again. No, we ain't getting nothing there. Okay. I've actually got to do something excitingly interesting, he says. Um, just to make sure I have got the right one. Yep, yep. That's still exceedingly low. It's not um, sold of a... See, that's going to be naught because that's going straight to ground. So this is going to ground. The chip might actually be knackered on this. Hmm. I could always try another resistor just in case of got a dud resistor, I suppose. It could be um it could be a dud. Never know. Let's take it off and find out. There's your short one. Right, um, does that make any difference? I don't know why I folded them up. I should really be testing. And it doesn't. Let's plug it in and see what happens. And 
precisely sod all happens. Great. Right. Well, back to bits it goes. Well, I say back to bits. Back to the board we go. We can remove this. And I'm going to dump solder on every single one of these. Because then when I come to take this chip off in a minute, it will make life a little bit easier. Right, that's all of them done. Just plug it in and see if that's caused any... No, nothing extra has happened there. So let's check everything goes to the right place. Beep, 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 shouldn't. So you, well, you go to there, you go to here, yeah. You're not supposed to do that, me old mate. I don't think. Is that one the same as this one? It is. So, you and you are not supposed to be doing that. Right. Let's have this chip off. Is there a short circuit in the chip? Is there a short circuit on the board? Once the chip is removed, we'll find out.
so yeah a lot of these are um bent down as well so let's try and leave of them up Well, that's the end of that trace. Fortunately, that won't be difficult to get a... Um to get the crappy paste on this. stuff so so much and we're gonna have to get out of a board holder wherever it may have gone the actual tip puller one of these beasts and I want some heat That really doesn't want to come out.
I have to turn the heat up a bit more, I think. And try and wind this in a bit closer. I'm now up to full whack. I've cranked it to 400, but. Just a couple of them that are just too bent over. Come on, you stupid thing. Almost out. It's this bottom row. Just get out, thank you. Stupid thing. Now, this board is bent and warped and probably quite knackered. But that was really getting on my tits. So you can go up there for a minute. That's gonna cool down and, well, yeah. You've probably just seen lots of weird random views, but I'll be back in a minute. Right, hopefully that's cooled down a fair bit now. And I can stick that on here. And let's see if we've still got the short between 
No, the short's gone. So, one of these, that would have been that way up. And this pin here comes through there, goes up to here. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. Now this one here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, number eight. So that'll be eight, nine, and ten. That is shorting inside of a chip. That chip is fugged. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, <clears throat> that chip is fried. Now, what I'm hopefully going to be able to do is... Somehow, look past the mangled damage where I've lost the connector there and that I'm quite sure will go across, but to be honest, might as well just come off and hopefully I can do this. Scratch away some of that. And the same on this one. Scratch away some of the trace or the uh, coating on the trace. <laughs> and then we'll be able to um, solder directly to those. But I'm gonna go and uh, revive our friend here. Our little chum, Alex Kid. Alex is a um, going to give us the uh, sweet, sweet chip from here. Although I probably should check to see if eight and ten do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And yeah, see, eight and ten are not supposed to be shorted. So, yeah, that Spider Man chip is actually knackered. Right, no good. I should probably get some sort of flux on here, really. It's just that this stuff is so shit and awful and horrible and sticky and gunky and just... not very nice to use. Well, it's okay in a pinch, but...
nodig. See, if you remember the first video that was about eight hours long of these Mega Drive games, this one has got some serious damage to the front of the cartridge. I attached some jumper wires to the pins, but unfortunately, even though it would work in the Universal Adapter, it wouldn't work just in the Mega Drive on its own because it seems that doesn't quite reach far enough into the machine to function properly. Like the uh, Universal Adapter's got a slightly shorter cartridge port, which lets it actually make contact all the way. And I just hope I haven't completely ruined that other board. Where's the, um, yeah, whoops, that's a bit of a 3DS. Let's have a bit of this on here just to clean up a bit more because I want the chip to come out a bit easier than the last one. I still want to try and work on this board at some point. But of course the mission has to be first and foremost getting as many things fixed as I can and getting them up and listed. So, taking the chip off of here and chucking it onto that one from Spider-Man and seeing if it works, hopefully it will.
And there we go. They're out. They do need straightening up a bit though. I need really straightening up, pal. Looks a bit better. Let's try this side. Right, hopefully that will go in nice and easily. may have straightened them a little bit too much. There we go, right. Those are in, let's get them soldered. And don't forget we've got one over here. I need to try and get a massive one of them on. Yep, happy days. And then one over here. So I don't want them two to be joined together. So let's unentangle them. But this, this does need to have a massive blob on it. Come on, mate. There you go. Right. So that's for two that are properly balked up, hopefully sorted. Now, let's get these just soldered on. I'm going to clean the tip. It's looking a bit of a mess. Turn it down a touch.
you go. Right, that's all of those soldered. Let's um, just dig out the Mega Drive. And let's see. Does this... actually work now? Yes, it does. So, unfortunately, the Spider-Man... Eprom chip. He's knackered somewhere inside here. That is um cracked or broken down, but yeah, it's um it's shorting out, so it's no good. But the board was donated to restore Alex Kid in the Enchanted Castle back to life, although for the sake of just trying it, let's put Alex Kid in a shell because last time as soon as he went in a shell he didn't work but now now he does sort of yeah. excellent right turn him off try one more time Great, so unfortunately Spider-Man didn't get going, but Alex Kid did. So I can put him back together in a bit. And um, I'm gonna put this down here, reposition the camera. And the next one we will have a look at is Sonic 2. But first, I'm going for some lunch, so I'll see you in a bit. Okay, right, Sonic 2 then. Um, let's ping it in the Mega Drive, or quickly see what happens there's nothing on the screen oh okay so yeah it starts to fire up but then doesn't so let's get it apart. <clears throat> I expect this one to be a 1k ohm resistor job because it's booting up and then stopping. So let's just do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the ground. There's this crappy one that's been in three different cartridges now. You can go on there. You can go On that. Yeah. <clears throat> Slam it back together. No. Nothing on screen at all. not that okay back to bits you go <clears throat> off it comes then Just to check. I probably should have done this first, you know. Mm. 
does it. Doesn't seem to have any shorts, so let's um, get the wire brush out. Capacitors um, rather leaky. I'll tell you what, let's have that cap off. <clears throat> now I've got one that we used earlier. So, <clears throat> that capacitor's been replaced. Where's the thing? <clears throat> oh, there we go. It's the capacitor. to get the cap drawer back out <clears throat> because obviously I cut the legs on this one and made it too short to actually be useful so I need to take this cap back out again Unless I can, no, that's not going to bend that way. So, yeah, out goes that capacitor. That's fine, it can be used for testing. <clears throat> I want to pop one in, it's a 47 microfarad at. 16 volts and obviously I want it to sit nicely like that so let's fold them back there get a bit of solder in place lovely and then fatigue the metal out of them. <clears throat> Brilliant. Let's... Uh... Chuck it back in its case. So that one needed a capacitor by the looks of it. <clears throat> bring, bring, bring. There we go. Right, so that's Sonic completed. Superman. Doesn't do anything. If we give it a bit of a clean.
it still doesn't do anything. So, let's rip that out of there, pop this one open, and see what we can find wrong with this. I suppose I should measure things because that's probably the best idea. Ground. And yep, that one's actually dead this time. So that should be the thingamy jiggamy what's it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And ground. I'm going to be glad to see the back of this resistor because it's been on four boards now and hopefully this will be its forever home. That's a bit better. <clears throat> Back straight on. Grab the drive. It looks like it's Superman. It looks like it's working. Brilliant. That's the next one done. Right, Sonic the Hedgehog 3. Um, it doesn't do anything. <clears throat> it still doesn't do anything. So, back to the blue mat. Let's have a go. The blue hedgehog on the blue mat. Oh. Right, um, well. That's a bit of a pick and mix jumble, isn't it? This is probably our main chip, so let's <clears throat> get investigating. Ground. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, oh, nine, it's nothing because that's the ground. Well, what's the capacitor on this one? It is the same again, 47 and 16. So, let's try that. Negative goes towards the top. Ah! Fingers do not go towards the bottom of the soldering iron. That's a daft idea. Ok, 
Okay, pop you to one side. I'm going to get a fresh cap. Excellent. Right. Let's um, plug this in and find out. No, that's not done anything still. Still a black screen. No. Um, I will just try... Giving the pins a quick rub over. Isn't the um, capacitor here? So we should be able to have that one back out, please. This one can go back in. Because I would much rather have the original one in there, if possible. Right, oh uh, well. Let's see if any of these others. Is there a short anywhere? No. That's fine, that's fine, and that's fine, good. So it doesn't appear to be a short circuit anywhere. This one. That's because that's a ground.
Um, this is quite frost. Aha. That'll do. Do you know what? Let's just do it. Let's just tack up the earth and number eight and see what happens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You want to see as much as I do how randomly this will or won't work. That's rubbish, isn't it? It didn't work. To be fair, we didn't expect it to work, really, did we? No. Oh, well. That can come back off of there. And then, well. Let us see if all of the things go to where they're supposed to. You should go to there somewhere, yep. Yeah. You should go to here somewhere. You should go to there, there. Aha! Uh -huh. You do not go where you're supposed to go. That is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in. This one. Yep. This one. This one. This one is that one. That one is. This one here goes da, 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 da. to there, yep, yeah, good. This one, yep. This It's only this number seven here. It doesn't seem to go where it needs to go. Right. Uh, time to get picking. So, 
So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That one. That's got a. little bit of corrosion to it but nothing that you think is serious So, hopefully from there, yep, but not from there. So I'm going to need to, I'm going to need two, not two, scrape away some more of this. So it looks like it's connected still, but somehow not. Well, only one thing for it. Let's try and put some crap flux on here and try and get a bit of solder to drag across. Just a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Turn the heat right down on that. Pretty sure that's still not making a connection, aren't you? See, because that is not 
going in that. Yeah. I need it to just jump the half a millimetre. Probably want to turn it down a little bit more. Maybe not quite that much. No, 207 degrees is not enough. I want it just about melty. Still not making a contact, is it? really quite annoying that might have got it the problem is I've got too much on here might have actually got it. Cheer! Now, zoom back out. Let's see if that was our problem. on whether it's still held up. Let's just check that again. I can't even so yeah, that is holding up. Oh, hello. Right, 
you get out of there immediately and get back into here. Now, unfortunately, that one's a bit too much of a bodge to actually sell on. So, in the first video, this Batman, oh, where I've just dropped the screws, did turn up with Sonic inside it. So provided this one works, I'll keep this for myself because I don't have a copy of Sonic 3. There we go. So I'm going to have myself a copy of Sonic 3. And it's going to be the balked one we've just fixed by obviously not very well bodging that trace but it's fine it'll be for myself and I'm going to take this one here which was in the Batman case and I believe it might work let's find out I can put it in that shell I've got a box in the other room for it and that'll be a box but no instructions Sonic 3 going up soon cool well that one needs to go together and then there is one left Gain ground. I don't know why I've put the um, Mega Drive away. I need to plug it in. And it does absolutely nothing. And it still does nothing. So now the multimeter's beeped at me enough to turn itself off. I'm going to get this open and then turn the multimeter back on. Are you going to be a nice quick fix that requires the thing across the thing? Looks like it is. So, as always, I'm gonna get the uh, used far too many times already. 1K ohm resistor. See what happens when we add this one. This action replay is handy most of the time because it, it means I can fit a board in without having to reassemble it. And yeah, gain ground is stuck on the Sega. Look. No, no, it's not stuck on it. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Well, that's another six completed. What I've got to really do is metal fatigue these off. Pop it back in its case and just try it out as an actual cartridge. Yep, that's bubbling away and then I'm going to get my freshly repaired Sonic 3 in a Batman shell for now. 
and just make sure that, yeah it still doesn't work Got a feeling that needs a bit more of a clean up, but as it's for myself, I don't mind that so much. So cool. Thanks for watching. I will see you for the next load of these um, in a couple of days. Cheers. See you later.